Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Star Six Wars One, here for the next entry of Supernatural Month. For this one, we take a look at the horror anime known as Another, which has the stupidest name ever. Sorry, gotta get that out of the way. One of my major things that I have with this anime is its name. What kind of name is Another? Seriously, the hell? Okay, with that out of the way, this is my review for another. Now, I'll be very honest here. I have some misgivings with this anime and some positives. We'll talk about each and, uh, yeah, just a normal review. So, let us begin with the story. The story, oh god. You know... I can take stories that try to take themselves way too seriously, which I really think this anime does. True, it can be dark and edgy-ish, not as bad as, say, Mirai Nikki, but can be when it wants to be. The problem is the story feels like it's not written very well. Mature themes should be able to come naturally to a story. I hate to say it, but this is one anime where that does not work. It doesn't feel really that coherent or that thing. You have a random dance scene in the halfway point of the anime, right after some gruesome deaths. It is one of the most out of place scenes in this anime, and yes I am pointing it out because of how badly it is used. That's stupid. Honestly, that's another thing I should mention. This story is pretty stupid. I'm sorry, God. To people who like another, let me point out. It's not terrible. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. But, my God, this story can be really, really stupid when it wants to be. The character's logic senses? Oh, out on a vacation. Um, plot conveniences for the plot? Sure, why not? And a curse that never truly gets resolved? Oh, you bet. Yeah, I'm not really happy with this anime story. Honestly, the only real enjoyment bits of it were when the mystery tried was actually good, or the death scenes. That's not a good thing, by the way. I shouldn't be enjoying the death scenes. More on that later. But everything else is just so dull, uninteresting, or unnecessary that's just stupid. There's no better word for it. The story is stupid. Again, I'm so if you like it, that is perfectly fine. I did not. But I did get some enjoyment out of it through its stupidity, so... Meh. Next up is the characters, and they are even worse. Unlike the story which had some stupidity, behind it, I find that the characters were either bland, assholes, or stupid, or all of the above. It's sad when you get to see characters be that stupid, a holish, and just everything else. The characters are probably the worst aspect of the story. I can't even remember the main character's name for God's sake. The only real memorable character of the show is Mei Miyazaki, and honestly, I think there are times where I was even kind of a little annoyed with her. So, really, that's not a good thing. It's like, this character cast is boring. There's nothing else to it but boring dicks at times, especially towards the end. Just everything about it is just, I don't like the character cast. Even if they weren't, even if some of them weren't a-holes, I still wouldn't like the cast. It's too bland and boring for me. Sorry. But I will give it this much. I do like the amount of death scenes more than I probably should. Because it's one of those character casts that I kind of wish to see die horribly. You know, the ones like in school days. Yeah, those kind of character casts. So, yeah. Next up is the animation, and I'm going to be kind of honest, this is probably the highlight of the anime. The animation looks very fluent, very colorful, and quite 
pleasant with the eye with its gothic scenery. Well, or gothic feel. It has a nice atmosphere, is basically what I'm saying. Now, unfortunately, the character uh, animation is hampered by one little thing we like to call the character design. Not all of them, of course. Some of them are actually fairly decent. But there are certain ones that I'm bothered by. Specifically, Pon two ponytails girl. No, I cannot remember her name at the moment. They don't look natural to me. Okay, yeah, the character designs of Angel Beats bothered me a little, but I find it much more distracting here. And more so in the early episodes, but even in later ones, I could still kind of tell. So I'm not a fan of the character design. Sorry. Next up is the music and sound department. The OST is a completely forgettable one, moving on. Um, there is, I guess, one theme, like, probably the main theme of another to really stand out, but really, that is it. There's nothing else in the OST for me to latch on to. Completely average, moving on. The opening is... okay. It's not terrible, it's not great, it's okay. I've heard better from this band, but, eh. It's not terrible. The ending is boring, moving on. Now, final thing I should note is, should you watch this sub or dub? I'm gonna say go with your personal preference on this one. Truthfully, I don't think really have a great advantage. If you don't like the vo English voice actors, go with the sub. If you like English voice actors but don't like subs, go with the dub. Honestly, it's a really bizarre choice in... I hate to say it, I don't think either sub or dub are really that great. Then again, this is an average anime in general, so that's to be expected. So, go with your personal preference. Overall, another is, I think, an anime that tries too hard to be mature and dark and fails. It's not Future Diary bad, thank God, but honestly, it hampered my enjoyment of this show, which is kind of sad. And honestly, all the other problems with it just make it, overall, at times, unpleasant to watch. The only saving grace, really, for it was the death scenes, which were... Eh, kind of realistic in some points, and then really hypothetical in other ones. And honestly, I didn't like the character cast that much anyways. So overall, pretty average show. If you like horror anime, I guess this is a good one to watch. If not, skip it. I give another a 5 out of 10. It's not bad, just really, really average. And that's kind of sad. Anyways, that's all from me. This has been Star Six Wars 1, and I'll see you guys next time.